Hello and welcome to our 100 day self-focus program. Now it's been a long while since I ran an online program in a Facebook group. Um, what with this crazy year we've had, so I'm really excited to be launching and uh, running this program alongside you. So 100 days of self-focus. Now each of you in this group will all have your own reasons for being here, me included. I'm gonna be going through the 100 days with you. Um, whether it is a weight loss goal, whether it is a getting fitter goal, whether it's a stopping drinking goal, whether it's a stopping shopping goal. Um, I'm guessing we're all going to have one common thing in common, and that is that we want to feel better in some ways. You know, behind all of that stuff often is this really, really simplistic need, and that is to feel better, whether that's physically, emotionally, or psychologically. So, I want this to be a bit of a different program and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. You know, the thing is, whether whether it's it's our weight that's causing us distress or our drinking or spending money or whatever the thing is, whatever the thing is that is causing us distress, it's really easy and to get caught in just focusing on that thing. So I'll use weight as an example. So if you believe your weight is the problem and that losing weight is going to make you feel better it's going to it's that that magic bullet then it makes total sense that your solution is going to be to go on a diet to eat less and to exercise but I'm hoping one of the reasons that you're here is that you've kind of been around that loop a number of times. You know, if alcohol is the thing, you know, if you've stopped drinking for a period of time but then gone back to drinking, you're going to recognise that familiar pattern that often restriction is only ever going to last for so long. You know, it kind of feels a bit like a punishment. The thing is, you know, when we make these sudden changes, it often comes from a place where we feel where we're not feeling good enough. And so we desperately want to feel better. And so we convince ourselves, the conscious mind convinces ourselves that we if we cut out carbohydrates, if we cut out alcohol, if we stop spending money, that that is the solution. And quite often in the short term, we do get this initial kind of feel, feeling a bit more buoyant, feeling really good about it, you know, but sadly the unconscious is at play here. And there's a reason why you overeat. There's a reason why you spend money. There's a reason why you turn to that glass of wine in the evening. Okay. And so that doesn't go away when you choose to restrict. Yeah, it feels a little bit like it does because our minds kind of tend to work in this all or nothing way where if we set rigid boundaries for ourselves, um, we feel safer when we do that. But of course, it's really hard. Even when we set those rules for ourselves, you know, there is a part of our unconscious that's kind of sticking its fingers up to those rules. And so for some people, it's a day. For some people, they can stick to it for a week. For some people, it's a month. But that really involves having lots of willpower. And you know what? It's just really hard to sustain. So this 100 days is about kind of trying a different approach. It is about focusing on self-care generally. And I know that's a bit of a buzzword. But truly taking care of ourselves in all sense of the word. So that's physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. They're the four pillars of self-care. But that is also in all areas of our life. So, you know, there's our work, our work self, our home self, how we look after our health, how we, ha how we interact with our families, how we connect to the wider audience. You know, we, as humans, we have lots of different aspects of self and we have lots of needs. And quite often some of those needs needs are not being met and that's what often drives our behavior in around food and alcohol and shopping they become a substitute they become a way in which we can kind of prop ourselves up a bit like scaffolding I guess they become our scaffolding that allow us to go forth in our lives and to to keep going if you like but that sustained for a long period of time starts to have an impact on us. So the, the, the next 100 days is going to be split into two areas. The first one 
is you showing up for yourself every single day, even if you only take part in that 100 days whereby you start to set some really small steps for yourself. And I'm going to talk more about this as I launch the 100 day, um, this part of the program tomorrow. So I won't go into too much detail today. But this strain of the this, this part of the program, the 100 days, is about you starting to set some really small actions for yourself. And then we start to build on them over the 100 days. And this is all about starting to build trust in yourself. How many times have you decided that you're going to make changes? You've you've made real drastic changes only to not be able to say, sustain it. That has an impact on how you trust yourself and so often we go into the next round of trying to make changes already with this unconscious belief that we're not going to do it because we've proved that to ourselves time and time again and we set ourselves up for this we set ourselves up to fail um, and that actually becomes a familiar pattern for us so although it feels horrible to fail it's familiar so we almost accept that that's how it's going to be so if you want things to be different we have to try doing this a different way and so over the hundred days the whole idea is that you're going to set these small actions and I'm going to talk more about self-care and give you some guidelines around things to think about so instead of what we're going to do we're going to move away from this restriction taking away from self and we're going to start building on adding in and you might automatically think about time and stuff like that but it's small things that you do every single day that you build on so if you are time um, poor at the moment that needs to be looked at you know being busy in our lives kind of is like a bit of a badge of honor we do get recognized for it we get it makes us feel like we are we have our place in the world but when we create a busy lives for ourselves it doesn't leave a lot of time for stuff that's really going to to make us feel better generally as humans hopefully that makes sense so that's the whole concept of the 100 days. We're going to be building on little steps. But every single day, you're going to have an opportunity to be accountable for yourselves. One of the most important things for me, I've been on this journey for like 20 years, and I've probably spent 15 years of that blaming the diets that didn't work for me, it being my parents' fault that I was the way that I was, you know, very much living in a world where it wasn't my fault and looking for somebody to come and rescue me. It was only when I... I realized that when I can take full accountability for myself without beating myself up, without shaming myself, that's when I kind of felt like I had total control over things. And that's what like the daily accountability is about, you know, whereby you set, you're setting yourself these actions and then you're coming into the group every day and you're reporting against how you did. And that's not about being perfect. That is about being honest with yourself and taking responsibility. And if you're doing those actions, great. But if you're not doing those actions, that's a really lovely opportunity to look at that and explore what's going on for you. What resistance have you got? What's getting in the way of that? What are you giving priority to and not yourself? And doing that on a daily basis with these simple actions is really effective because it means that you can kind of... Um, tweak as you're going along and you're starting to really shine a light on what's going on in your life and what is stopping you from doing the things you say that you want to do. Underpinning the 100 days, I'm also going to be doing some training with you and that's going to just allow you to to support what's the reality of what's going on as you go through the 100 days. What I also want to encourage in this group is some really open conversations, you know, to actually be able to start exploring the resistance that you're having. I've done this 100 day program. It was not plain sailing for me. There were days where I was so fed up with doing the daily posts and I was resisting it and I didn't do it. And then I came back and did it two days later while I worked through and processed the resistance that was going on in my mind. You know, I've talked about how if I posted too many days where I'd done all of my actions, I started to feel uncomfortable with that. I started to think that people would think I was lying or cheating. And that made me then look at my relationship with success. And I'm hoping that this 100 day, you know, this, this process is not just about achieving that goal at the end of the 100 days. It's about you starting to really um, step back and look at what is going on for you. You know, are you 
do you go the opposite and you want to post 100 days every time because that allows your scaffolding to stay in place, your be perfect scaffolding. So this is gonna be a really fascinating process. And whilst it is about um, taking actions every day, the most important thing is the reflection and the being honest with yourself and taking responsibility. And I'm gonna work with you and support you through that process. Um, so, just having a quick look at my notes and making sure I'm covering every one thing off. So yeah, two strains, the 100 day, just a bit, there is gonna be an exercise that I'm gonna pop into the group this afternoon that I'd like you to spend a bit of time um, working through because you I know that you'll have come into this group and have an idea of what it is you want to achieve. Now I'm very aware of like, we like familiarity and even though you're coming into this hoping it's going to be different the way our minds work is we tend to go with comfort zone stuff so this exercise that I'm going to put into the group this afternoon might feel a little bit deep and you might be thinking oh my god you know I'm not sure I'm ready for this please just bear with it because what I want to do from day one is get you starting to think a little bit differently to sort of just put your the thing you think you want to work on to one side and start to just explore the different areas of your life and what might be going on for you in terms of how happy you are with certain areas of your life because often it's that stuff. It's that stuff that actually leads into the substitute, the coping behaviours. So there's going to be an exercise that I want you to do today because it's going to be really fundamental for when you start thinking about your actions um, and that's going to be an exercise that's coming going to come into the group tomorrow so tomorrow will be day zero okay and you're going to have an opportunity to really think about the small actions that you're going to start taking and these can be reviewed and adjusted you know there is nothing set in stone here and that's the beauty of us working together for the next 14 weeks that each week you can assess you know what's working for you what isn't working for you what do you want to bring in you know because when some of these actions start to become um autopilot and you're doing them without thinking you know you might want to start changing and introducing something that stretches you a little bit more um so yes there is going to be an activity that i invite you to get involved in you know i've previously asked you get a notebook that's going to become your place to go to um do some of the work that we're going to be doing you know i always encourage journaling so you know if you are having a tough time just grab your notebook and write about it if that's a new process for you and you want to jump on a call and we can talk a little bit more about journaling and the benefits then please reach out and we can do that something i want to talk about is safety and confidentiality you know this is a closed group um, it, so only those of you that are in the group can um, see the posts that are going on you know as a counselor confidentiality is so important to me and what that means is people may be sharing things that are quite personal to them as they go through this process so it's really important that they feel safe and able to do that so there is a separate post to this welcome video that talks a little bit about safety and confidentiality and I want you to acknowledge that you have have read that post and there's like a done button at the bottom and what you're doing there is that you are you are committing to keep what's talked about in this group in the group you know no taking it outside and sharing names and things like that it's really important that we can have that trust within the community um, if you want to talk to me about that that's absolutely fine you I want everyone in this group to feel safe to be able to share what it is that's going on for them because that's a big part of this process so often we don't share how we're feeling and what we're thinking and that really limits the opportunity for other people to offer their experiences as well a big part of this whole journey is about you starting to be more accepting of who you are the good the light side that we're happy to show everybody but also what we see as our dark side you know the stuff that we keep hidden away I remember the first time I said to somebody about my secret eating and I was so embarrassed I thought I would be judged and you know what they actually said to me you know my god I thought I was the only one that did that so that in those moments where we can be brave and we can be vulnerable and we can offer how we're really feeling being totally honest that's when 
that connection with other people can get made. And also just the releasing, the speaking. I remember that moment I verbalized I was a secret eater. Once I got over that whole kind of, oh my God, that information's out there. It was like this massive relief. You know, we hold on to so much stuff that is like a backpack and it weighs us down in our life. So I really want to encourage um, you to feel safe enough to be able to, to post how you're feeling in the group. But I fully appreciate that may take a little bit of time. So safety and confidentiality, you know, keeping yourself safe as we go through this process. And what I mean by that is if something comes up for you that is not sitting with you, that's triggering some kind of emotion for you, then reach out. If you don't feel comfortable reaching out in the group, then reach out to me one-to-one and we can work through that please 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 don't sit with it because if you do what's going to happen is you're going to start to withdraw you're going to start to withdraw from doing the work because you, you you it's kind of feeling a bit overwhelming and um yeah that's what's going to happen you know i'm sure you've got evidence of that in the past where if some if you're feeling a bit unsafe you're going to withdraw and just jumping on a call and just talking things through can really help you to feel better so i'm kind of coming to the end now um so hopefully you've watched this welcome video um go over to uh, the unit section there's a section called getting started in there is the post about confidential confidentiality and safety please read that and um press that you have done that and that, that acknowledges that you ad ad adhere to that um this afternoon, I'm going to be posting the first little exercise for you to do. And it's probably going to take you um, about 10 or 15 minutes. And on that note, make sure you're scheduling in your calendar, in your diaries, five or 10 minutes every single day. So you are coming into this group and you are doing some work or you're engaging with people in the, in the group. That might be one of your biggest challenges. I've worked with people for the last 20 years and one of their biggest challenges being consistent. And that is what this process is about. I'm not here to police you, but if you're not showing up, I'm gonna give you a little prod just to find out what's going on. So I think that's all I want to go through with you. Really looking forward to getting cracking with this 100 days. Tomorrow will be around setting your actions for the coming week or so forth. I'm going to be, I will post a, like a template that you can use and whether you choose to, to fill it in online or whether you print it out. I like to, I like to print it out and color the blocks in and I could really see where I was doing things consistently and not doing things so consistently. So it's entirely up to you. I'll give some more guidelines around that tomorrow. Um, and your first exercise will go into the group this morning, uh, this afternoon. Any questions? reach out. Um, all I want you to do now really is say hello to the group. Maybe tell us a little bit about you while you're here, what you'd like to get out of the 100 days. So see you all very soon.